Hey, it's Chris Lipper from On The Bus Sales Training, Coaching, and Consulting, and I am sitting here with Jeannie, who has been on the bus for a little while. How long have you been on the bus, Jeannie? It has to be go approaching maybe six months now. Okay. And how's it going so far? Uh, fabulous. Okay. What, what have you gotten from being on the bus? Uh, except, you know, I've gotten a lot of ideas, which is really amazing, and things that I just didn't even realize were out there available for us, which is which is kind of great, especially as an entrepreneur. Sometimes you don't have the time to go searching for something new. And the fact that it just comes to you on the on the bus just makes my life and my business so much easier to handle. OK, and in terms of the challenges you bring to our meetings, whether it be sales training or the, the bus meetings, um, are you getting the feedback that you would hope for? Better, I think. I think people are just very forward with their thinking and they're very forward with their answers, which is really fantastic because you find that again, as an entrepreneur, not too many people are willing to really give you the right opinion or any opinion. They just you know, say, okay, that's the way it works for you. Then that's the way it works for you. And sometimes you just need to hear it from somebody else just so that you're listening a little bit better. Yeah, I, I would say that we're all pretty thick skinned because we can take it as well as give it, but it is not a room full of yes people. They are not people that are going to co-sign your, your BS kind of stuff, you know, they're, they're absolutely gonna... not. They actually call you on it, which That's is a right. good thing because not too many people call entrepreneurs That's on right. their BS because they just, they just don't. Yep. And I have found that learning from other people's mistakes is a lot better than learning from your own. If, if you, they can save you from making a mistake, that's a pretty big deal. A hundred percent. And your business has blossomed very nicely in your, with your time with us. I'm not saying it's because of us, but it's probably not a coincidence either. Well, I'm definitely not going to say it's not because of us or because of the on the bus, because I can't say that. It's just too coincidental that it happened at the same time as I'm on this particular program. And, I, and I'll tell you, I, I'm not sure if it's the business that got brought to me by being on the bus, but I know for a fact without any question that this business coming my way, I would have never been prepared for if I wasn't on the bus. So that's a huge thing because business can come to you and you're not prepared for it and you can't take it and you can't do it. But being prepared when it's time to be prepared, that's huge. And that's what on the bus does for me. You know, it's funny because we talk about that all the time that subliminally we'll, we'll sabotage ourselves if we don't think we can handle that big an order. You know, we'll tell ourselves, oh, I don't even go for it. But, you know, you landed a, a huge job, um, which I won't say what is unless you want to. That's up to you. But, you know, certainly your biggest and one of the biggest I've heard of. And you got it hook, line and sinker because you're ready. Um, Correct. Correct. I was ready. I had the answers, but not just the answers. And I wasn't just ready. I was confident that I can do that project. And therefore, I projected that confidence. And right. when I projected that confidence, they caught on to the projection and got a confidence in the fact that I can do it and pull it together. So they're giving me the chance. And just to give you an idea of what this kind of project is, I have a company, I actually have a, a, a portfolio of companies and we'll talk about that in a minute, but the one company is a solar company. And this particular solar company I've been doing very, very well with. I'm not gonna ever sneeze at what I've been doing with my solar business because it's always been extremely good to me. But now has jumped to a next level. It has jumped to a huge commercial level that is going to propel me even into the next level of going forward into a business that not only is a business that'll take care of me now and later, but also will become a saleable business at some point, which is what we all thrive for. So, so let's show you off a little bit. So how many roofs did you do last year? So last year alone, I did about maybe 250 roofs. And how many roofs did you get with this order? One order? 300. 300 roofs in New York City. Correct. That's a huge, huge year you're going to have. Congratulations. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Well, I'll tell you, I thank you so much for the congratulations, but the congratulations also belongs to you. Because if it wasn't for you mentoring me and bringing me forward and preparing me for when it came, I don't think it would have been something that I would have been able to handle. So thank you so much. Thank you. That's sweet of you to say. So would you recommend On the Bus to entrepreneurs? I would not just recommend it. I would say that it's a foolish decision if you don't do it because you're actually, you know, there's many things in your life that you can make a foolish decision and bounce back from. 
this is not one of them. So what stage of entrepreneurship would you recommend us? I would say that uh, um, that's a really interesting question. You want to have someone that is not just entrepreneurial, but also has the mindset to make changes and to accept changes. So I would say that's someone who's looking for growth, but not just growth in money, growth in personal, growth in your business, and growth with your employees if you have employees that are attached to it. So it's, it's really interesting. It can't just be somebody who just wants to open up a shop and start making some money. It has to be someone who's ready to accept that maybe what they're doing is not correct, or maybe it is correct, and share it with us so that we could all do it. So I agree with you that I like entrepreneurs that are a little vulnerable, that are willing to admit that they don't have all the answers. Um, and I don't think it matters if they're at day one or like you've been in business since 1988, um, that there's still time to adjust. And sometimes it's, again, a matter of not making the mistakes that others have made for you. So sure. thank you for doing this. And I would love to hear your 30 second intro just so we can show you off as well. So please give us your 30 to 45 second intro. Well, thank you so much for that. And uh, yes, my name is Jeannie Asante. The name of my company is I Dream of Jeannie. And we've been around since 1988. And like I mentioned before, we are a portfolio of companies. And because solar is what we really talked about today, I'm gonna kind of stick with that. And I'm gonna say to you that how excited do you get when you open up your electric bill? I mean, I know that you're jumping for joy, running to the bank, taking out the money and making the payment personally, because it's the most favorite thing for you to do every single month. Well, if that's the case, don't call me. But if for some reason it is not the case and you're not excited every time you get that electric bill and you were someone like me who said, you know what, there's got to be a way, can make, a way of making this go away, call Jeannie Asante because she can show you not only how to make it go away, but how to get at least 20 years worth of free energy. I don't know about you, but that excited me to no end. Thank you and have a great day. Jeannie, thank you so much. That was terrific. Thank you.